guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get this purple smoky eye using the I Love Sada E ColourPop palette. I actually had the opportunity to meet Karen about a few months ago. She was so sweet and so beautiful in person. Um, congrats Karen and this eyeshadow palette is so If you want to see how I got this purple smoky eye, just keep watching. So I'm going to start off by cleaning up under my brow using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer using a Morphe M22 brush. And I'm just pulling this concealer down so that I can get a seamless blend. And I'm going to blend all the edges with a Luxie 205 brush. Next to prime my eyes, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. And I'm going to be blending it out with that same Luxie brush. And then I'm going to set that using my RCMA Translucent Powder. First, I'm going to take a light brown as a transition shade. I'm just going to take a light brown from the Morphe 35O palette. I always like to use a light brown as a transition shade because I feel like it helps the other colors blend a lot better. Next, from the ColourPop X I Love Sadi E Saucy palette, I'm going to be using this mauve shade right here. And that one is called Chic Happens. And I'm going to put that a little bit lower than the transition color. Next, I'm going to be going in with my Morphe M139. And I'm going to be dipping into this dark purple shade right here. And I'm going to be placing this color on the outer V of my eye, so right about here. If you're finding one eye is not blending as well as you'd like it to, you can go back in with the transition shades and it'll help blend it a little bit easier. Next I'll be taking the Morphe M153 and the color Lit, which is this one right here. I'm going to spray that with a little bit of setting spray. Just going to clean up under my eyes and then I'm going to get started on the brows. So now I'm going to be working on my brows. For that I'm going to be using the Benefit Cabral Gel in number 4 and my Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeliner brush in number seven. I'm gonna start by drawing the bottom line of my brow using the line that we created from that uh, concealer. And before it dries, I'm going to push the product up and blend it out. And if it looks like it's not going to be blending that well, just take your spoolie at the end. It'll help blend everything together as well. And I'm going to take the spoolie and brush the hairs down. And line the top part of the eyebrow. And the same thing, pull the product down. Then I'm just going to go in one more time and fill in any gaps. To top it off, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. Now I'm going to be taking the Urban Decay Perversion Eyeliner.
Next, I'm going to be taking the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer in Light Beige. And I'm going to be using that with an Eco Tools foundation brush. For concealer today, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. This one again. And I'm going to be using my Real Techniques Blending Sponge to blend it all in. Then I'm going to be setting my face, my entire face, with the RCMA No Color Powder. I keep saying no color, it's translucent. <laughs> For contour, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette in Dulce de Leche. That's what it looks like. For the nose contour, I'm going to be using a Luxie 237 blending brush. And I'm going to bring that into my brow line. For a highlight today, I'm going to be going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Sweets Glow Kit. And I'm going to be taking the light shade right here. And for blush, I'm going to be using Warm Soul by MAC. This is it. On a Morphe M105 brush. Now I'm going to finish up the lower lash line. And I'm going to go back in with this light color shade again. And then I'm going to go in with an angled brush into this dark purple shade which is called Razy. Razy? I don't know. And I'm gonna put this right next to the lashes. Now I'm gonna curl my lashes and put some mascara. And for mascara, I'm going in with the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. For lashes today, I'm going to be going in with Coco Lashes in the style Scarlet and I'm going to be applying them off camera. Okay guys, I'm back. So I'm going to finish off the lips with Give Me Glow Cosmetics Pink Rose Cupcake. To finish off the lip, I'm going to top it with a Gerard Cosmetics Lip Gloss in the color Shimmer of Hope, which looks like this. This lip gloss, you guys, has the coolest packaging. So it has this tiny little mirror on the back. And when you open it, there's a light. That is so cool. And I'm just gonna finish off this look with a Gerard Cosmetics Slay All Day Setting Spray. Okay guys, that's it for this look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like this video and subscribe down below. Thank you for watching.